burgers. Boy, I love a burger. No matter how they come, no matter what the ingredients, I love a burger. So today on the Hungry Hussy Cooking Show, we're gonna do a beautiful, luscious burger that I came across just last week. I did all my burgers, it's for our weeknight burgers. That's when I do a lot of my testing and so forth. I wanna call this the old hot hussy burger, all right? It's not gonna be too hot. It's got a piece of jalapeno on there. Also, I want you guys to stick around. I got a little exciting news to show you guys. Some, uh, maybe some new paint that we might be cooking on, who knows? So, hey, you will not want to miss this burger, the hot hussy. Let's go. So the one thing that makes this thing the hot hussy burger is the jalapeno. Let me show you what I do to this jalapeno to make it how I want it. So here's our jalapeno. And I'm just gonna take this top off just like that. And I'm just gonna come and I want it to fold out basically. And plus I wanna take some of these seeds out. There we go. Look at that, put that right there. And then it's gonna lay across our whole burger, okay? Not just little slices. And we're gonna encapsulate this with some cheese. Just make sure it's nice and flat. And then we're gonna put this on the black stone. We're gonna get some nice char on it. And then we're gonna put cheese all around it. Whew, boy, it's gonna be some good groceries. All right, y'all, hey, let's get going. First things first, let's put these jalapenos down, okay? They're gonna take a little while to cook. We're just gonna get a little bit of butter down right here. I'm gonna put these down, cut side down first because I want them to kind of fan out. All right, I've been seeing these. I've seen Joshua Weissman, I've seen Kenji Lopez, I've seen everybody using these chef presses. I love these things. So it's gonna come in here and we're gonna apply those chef presses and a little bit of, a little bit of elbow grease on these, okay? And that's just a, help them kind of lay flat. And then it's gonna fan across our whole burger. Also, a little bit of bacon. Some thick cut bacon. We'll lay that right there. Gonna get that going. Let's talk about a burger. This is about a six ounce portion that I've patted out. Not gonna be a smash burger. Just uh, season it with a little bit of this bootleg burger from Blackstone, okay? Sometimes I like a smash burger, sometimes I don't. Today, not so much. I was wanting a nice burger to sink my teeth into. You know, real nice and, and juicy. I'm not saying a smash burger isn't juicy, but it's just something to, I don't know. I miss a big old burger sometimes. Put this little press, put one right there. Make your bacon all nice and uniform. All right, our bacon. We're just gonna, we're gonna bring this bacon up here. Just let it hang out, okay? Let's see where our jalapenos are. See how nice and flat they are now? Oh yeah. There you go. Whoop. Now we had our bacon right here. Now we're gonna take our burgers. Our top is smoking a little bit. That tells us it's about 425, 450 degrees. So let's put these burgers on. We're gonna put our presses on it too. Helps you get that nice contact patch. Just adds a little bit of weight. They're eight ounces a piece. It's not a whole lot, but plenty. Our bacon. Nice and crispy. Just gonna put it over here. Let it hang out, let it get warm. Let it stay warm. Our burger's been on about three minutes now. Let's give it a look. Take our press. All right. That's a pretty burger. Put our presses back on. For those that might think, hey, you had that on raw meat. E. coli is dead at 165 degrees. When I put it on this top right here, this top is probably 400 degrees. This is metal. We're good, y'all, all right? Oh yeah, that's what we want. Look at that, nice and blistered. That is what we want for our jalapenos. Those are ready. I'm gonna let those up here as well. That caramelized color on there is kind of charred. It's gonna be some good eating, boy. Now, we'll add two more there for a little bit more weight, a little bit more contact patch. This little burger, that's all I had left over from the package, it's done. We got a bun, beautiful bun. We're using Pepperidge Farm Sweet Hawaiian Hamburger Buns. Beautiful. We're just gonna come in here with the 
We already got some of the uh, some of the grease from the burger. We're just gonna pick up. Okay. We'll come over here and toast them up. Burgers are pretty much about done. Ain't got much longer. All right, I'm gonna take the weights off. See where our burgers are. They're beautiful too. Man, look at that. Buns. Ooh wee boy, yeah. Nice and toasty. We'll put our burgers over here. Our buns are done. Put our buns over here. All right, now this is what we're gonna do with our jalapenos. I wanna come here. I wanna put two nice circulars. This right here is just cheddar cheese. And I'm just gonna put them right there. I'm gonna put them right there. Okay? I'm gonna put cheese on our burgers as well. Even though this cheese is gonna go on our burgers. It's okay to have more cheese, y'all. We gotta mayonnaise up our, our buns here, y'all. Little mayonnaise here, little mayonnaise there. I'm gonna put our bacon right here. Just like that. Look at this bad boy right here. Woo hoo hoo! Look at there. Look at there. <laughs> wow, y'all. <laughs> this, this burger, it looks amazing. That cheese skirt with that jalapeno, man, I am ready to give this a bite. But hey, if you're still with me, hit that like button, please. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like. Hey, if you don't like it, hit that thumbs down twice. I got a little bit of barbecue sauce here. This is actually, uh, this is Duke's mayonnaise uh, moonshine. It's like a real thick sauce. I thought that would pair really well with these burgers. <laughs> How you like me now? Let's cut this bad boy. Let's see what she's about, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, hello. Beautiful, boy's juicy too. I mean, I'll be honest, I wish it was a little bit more medium, but I had to, I put it over here, had to do some things, got away from me a little bit, but hey, nonetheless, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, first things first. Well, cheer wine. All right. All right, let's give us a try, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Uh-huh. Mmm. First thing I get, that jalapeno, a jalapeno. You take those seeds out, take that hot out. It's got a very nice bite to it. It's very pungent. Then the smokiness actually of that barbecue sauce plus the bacon really shines. I just love that cheese. The way it hardens, this gives it a nice little, another little texture. Dang it boy, this is a good burger. The seasoning, that bootleg burger, Pretty sure some of it's coming through. It's got some sweet to it as well, I believe. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, I want another piece of that. Dang. Dang, boy. That's good. No Maggie cam today, but this is a leftover burger. Maggie, do you want it? You're a good girl. Hey, easy. Easy. Easy, good girl. We missed one. Look at this. New 28 inch culinary range top got two burners over here boom hadn't used it yet i haven't seasoned it yet either but y'all it's gonna be right our old 36 inch air fryer unit she's been good to us but it's time for her to go hey appreciate you sticking in this long uh wanted to show you the new paint be cooking on it very soon y'all very soon i'm very excited um Hey, I invest into the channel because of uh, great folks just like you. I say it every time. I do appreciate you. I do love you. I do mean it. And until next time, folks, Hunger Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.